new. So it looks like we're moving into a new phase here with the vaccine. We continue to hear good news about COVID cases going down and vaccinations going up. But there are so many changes almost daily. That's why Malou went to Nurse Barb for an update, including the new vaccine that was just approved. Hi, Barb. Great to see you. So it looks like we're moving into a new phase here with the vaccine. Right. Things are changing every day, aren't they? And with more vaccines and a new vaccine out, there's a lot of new guidelines. I know people have a lot of questions. So it's starting to feel like the new norm, though, right now. It kind of is, right? Because some areas are opening up faster than others, and it all depends on which county you live in. So if you're confused, do check your own county website for the guidelines that apply to you. So let's talk about the J&J, &J, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, and how that's going to change everything for a lot of us right now. Oh my gosh, what's great about it is it doesn't need to be refrigerated. That means it can get to more places, especially out in rural areas and to um, uh, drugstores and pharmacies where a lot of people get vaccines. Also, it's one shot and the maximum immunity takes about four weeks. So if you get one shot of the J&J &J vaccine, four weeks later, you should have immunity. Okay, so if you didn't get the J&J &J vaccine, how soon after when you get the other ones like Moderna or Pfizer, can you get the second shot? So after you get the Pfizer shot, it's three weeks. And after you get Moderna, it's four weeks. And you know why I know that? Because I've been volunteering at a vaccine mega site, which is so much fun because it's just full of love. There's so much people there who want to help. And there's so many wonderful family members that are bringing in their elderly um, parents. They're, they're taking care of one another. And I just love seeing that. That must be a lot of fun for you to be able to vaccinate people and to volunteer. It's amazing because it's hopeful. I mean, and I think right now we're all feeling really hopeful about some of the new guidelines about wearing masks and when you might be able to get together with people who've been vaccinated. So even after you've been vaccinated, though, you still want to make sure you follow all the other guidelines, right? Well, that's true. So there's been some new guidelines that just came out from the federal government and the Centers for Disease Control and Dr. Fauci. And that is, is that if you've been doubly vaccinated, so you've had both of your vaccines, you can get together indoors for a meal with family members or anyone who's also been doubly vaccinated. So that's really good news. We're progressing. We're moving along. Things are starting to get back to, to what is going to be a new normal. Just love hearing that. And then what about for the, the people who haven't been vaccinated yet? You know, I know you have some, some things going on out there too with vaccine hunters, right? Oh my gosh. So if you, um, of course, everybody wants to get vaccinated. Everybody wants to protect themselves and their family. So if you're looking for a vaccine, make sure the people in your community and your family who are at risk or who are elderly, that you've helped them sign up. Right now, most centers don't have extra vaccines. So most of them are turning people away who are getting there. But if you happen to drive by and it says vaccines available, get in line and wait. Yeah, because it's a great feeling, I am sure. And I just wanna reassure everyone, we're almost there, but still wear a mask, wash your hands, keep socially distanced because you don't know when you're out in the public whether the people you're in contact with have been vaccinated. So you have to assume that they're not. And if you know that people are vaccinated, you can take your masks off and be together. Great. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much.